Hello mga pards. Hello mga pards. <laughs> Hello mga pards. Mga pards, mga pards. Hello 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 mga pards. Kami ang sayo. Tito subscribe na po kayo. rendered to us by one of the most promising Visayan world-class singer, Mes Dulce. Ako po ay isa rin haligi ng loyalist for Marcos noong kapanahunan ng ating mahal na ama. At kasama ang ating magiting na mga kasapi ng mga opisyalis ng loyalist for Marcos po. The last, I would say, 10 years at that time. At ako rin po kasama ng aming kombinerasyon at sa mga nagmamahal sa ating Pangulo ang naglingkod at nagsabing at unilos na magtanggol sa ating Pangulo nung siya po ay winalang hiya na paalisin sa kanyang pwesto bilang Pangulo ng inang bayang Pilipinas. Bilang naatasan na isang opisyal ng ating partido Pinapati ko kayo at sana huwag kayong magsawa na maging haligi at maglingkod sa ating partido para sa kapakanan ng ating bansang Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang ilusan ng bagong lipunan. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of Mayor Mariano Marcos, our Executive Vice President, Sir Belmore Ocampo, our President of the KBL Party, Honorable Efren Rafanan, to our national senatorial candidate, Attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon, to Sir Bernard Cusada, and to our NCA Chairman and Philippine Council, let us call the President of the Kilusang Dagong Lipunan, President Honorable Efren Rafanay. The KBL Party National Convention will now come into order. This nation can be great again. Once said the visionary and one of the greatest leader of the country, Ferdinand Adeline Marcos. And until today, though elusive, this remains the vision of this party. But how could we be enlightened if our people were deceived and whose history is distorted and corrupted? If we want our country to reclaim the glory and greatness, the Maharlika country, the original paradise on earth, could move. We must seek and enthrone the anointed leader of the land because it is this leader who is vested with authority to implement
implement God's will and divine plan on the tiny island in the Far East, ang bayang pinagpala ang bansang Maharlika. This country from the rising of the sun shall rise again and we stand as the greatest nation among all nations in the world. But God is a God of hope and justice. The greatest Maharlika nation shall rise again only with the right man who holds the key. And the time has come to witness the fulfillment of the prophecy. Ang Pangulo na siyang iginohit ng taghana. He and his family had experienced extremes. Once he is the son of the most powerful, respected and great leader. Yet he and his family was misjudged, humiliated in the eyes of the world, and suffered the worst that even their liberty was denied. The Holy Book says, there's a time and season for everything. Now is the time to rejoice, to claim justice, time for vindication, and most of all, the time for the victory and comeback. At mapalag tayong lahat, we are not only a witness, but an active medium to take part sa magpapalik na nagila sa malakalang. The KBL Party, founded 43 years ago, we produced the greatest president. Today, we will again converge, regather, and renew our commitment and vow to work and fight for the victory of the next and most awaited president of the Republic of the Philippines, the Maharlikan Nation, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Bongbong Marcos Jr. My countrymen, matagal na po tayo nagkikita. Today, I will ask you, are you willing to work and fight for the victory of the next president of the Republic of the Philippines? Mabuhay ang KBL! Mabuhay si Bongbong Marcos! As we declare today, the next president of the Republic of the Philippines. Mabuhay and salamat. The nomination and endorsement to the candidacy of former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. as the party's official candidate for the position of president in the national and local election on May 9, 2022. Resolve furthermore to nominate Attorney Larry Gadon as one of the senatorial candidates in the KBL lineup. I move for the approval of the resolution, Mr. Chairman. There's a resolution endorsing and nominating Honorable Ferdinand Bongbong Marcus Jr. as the party's candidate for president and Attorney Larry Gadon as senator of the party. So those in favor, say aye. To those objects, say no. Inasmuch as there is no objection, the resolution endorsing Honorable Bongbong Mark as the party's candidate in May 22 election is hereby approved. <laughs> Same resolution is hereby approved for Senator Larry Gadon as the separate candidate of KBL. We will watch the acceptance message of our presidential candidate for the May 2022 election, none other than 
Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. And uh, my greetings to all uh, uh, the members and the uh, leadership of the Kilusam Bagong Lipunan Party. Of course, uh, we all know that the KBL has been the stalwart party uh, that my father formed uh, in his time uh, in office. And the KBL has had a very clear set of ideologies and aspirations for our country. The vision of our country was very, very clear as it came from my father. And this is what the KBL continues to strive for and continues to work for and continues to exist for so that we are uh, at least representatives of that vision of my father. And I thank all of you who have been with us all of these years and that have uh, never left the fold uh, of uh, the Kilusang Bagong Lipuna. Thank you for all that. I am of course overwhelmed by the uh, expressions of support and endorsement that you have given me today. I hope it is because I have stayed true to the ideals of KBL that uh, as has been handed down from my father's time. I hope to continue to work to achieve that ideal, to achieve that dream, to achieve that vision for our country. The KBL has endured through such hard times uh, and, and yet we continue to see the work that KBL has done and the uh, political involvement that KBL continues to have at a very high level. And so I congratulate all of you who have kept the faith and who have kept the fires burning and uh, have reminded our people that uh, these aspirations, these ideals, this vision we have for our country is important. Thank you very much and good morning. Uh, BBM now is the strongest candidate. Uh, this is a fact. This is the reason why the Aquinos and uh, the Yellows are doing uh, everything to discredit uh, Bongo Marcos. They haven't uh, realized that the Aquino-controlled Sandigan Bayan has dismissed all ill-gotten cases against the Marcoses. Walang kahit isa lumusot. Despite the fact that these Sandigan Bayan justices were appointed by the Aquinos, despite the fact that the Sandigan is controlled by the Aquinos, that dismiss lahat ng kaso. This only means that lahat ng sinasabi nilang mga kasinungalingan kay President Marcos at sa pamilya nito ay tawang mga basura. Lahat yan ay propaganda at lahat yan ay kasinungalingan. Majority now of the Filipinos have realized that all of these are propaganda, all of these are brainwashing, all of these are indoctrination of the Aquinos and the Yellows. Even in the survey conducted by the Liberal Party, Bongbong -bong came out number one. Dapat ang Constitution ay magkaroon ng direct form and investment. Yung 1987 Constitution ni Cory Aquino, it was just a protection of the oligarchs. Dapat kung nagkaroon tayo ng foreign direct investment, dapat ay mas maunlad tayo. Look at Hong Kong, look at Singapore, ang laki ng agwat nila sa atin. Kasi meron, they allow foreign investment. The modern slaves. We are the modern slaves for working hard only to pay utilities like electricity, water, toll gate, gasoline. Lahat yan nagmahal. Kagagawan ng mga dilaw. Kaya yung pagbabalik sa Malacanang ng isang Marcos ay isang signalis na magkakaroon ulit tayo ng magandang buhay. Mabuhay si Bongbong Marcos! Mabuhay ang KBL! Yung lakas manggagawa ng Pilipinas will also support Senator Bongbong Marcos for President and of course, Senator Larry Gadon for Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. The Katipunan Pamilya Filipino believes that there is only one man who can lead this country to prosperity. Ang isa lamang ang pinunong gagawing ang mga Pilipino ay maipagmamalaking muli. And this man is none other than Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos. We join the Kinusang Bagong Lipunan in proclaiming the candidacy of Bongbong Marcos as the next president 
of the Republic of the Philippines. With the blessings of Almighty God, this nation will be great again.